All right, hey guys, so real quick, uh, I'm going to run through a random number generator. I'll go ahead and show you what it's going to do, and kind of monitor th uh, through that. If you look at these, um, it randomly gener generates a number of these, also um, changes the opacity and their position. Every time you run it, it'll be different. I'll go ahead and show you guys real quick. As you can see, every time I run it, I'm just I'm just hitting Command Enter to run this real quick. So um, they change change in opacity, all that. So to create one of these, uh, some people call these particle systems. I don't really believe that this is a true particle system. So I'm just gonna keep calling it a random number generator. So to make this, all you need to do is create a function, and in that function. What you want to do is make a for loop. Uh, loops are used a lot in programming, so um, get used to them. So you could go for variable i, which is an int or an integer, means a number basically, equals zero. So you're declaring the variable i is equal to zero. If i is less than 250, increment i. So what that does is if there's less than 250 of these dots down here, it goes ahead and adds another one. And each time, it uses a new random number to dictate the size, positioning, and the alpha transparency. So, um, walk you through the code real quick here. Um, we have a circle, which is a movie clip, and it's just a blue circle. So you can make that really easily. I uh, just called it I just called it circle in my symbols, um, and I can walk you through making that real quick, one second. Okay, so you don't see anything up on the stage, but basically all you'd have to do is go up to this rectangle tool, choose oval tool, pick your color, and then um, draw one on stage, hit V to change it to the selection tool, highlight it, and then hit F8, which will convert it to a symbol. I'm just going to delete that since I already have mine in my library. And to get back to the action script here. So var new circle, that's just the variable name I'm getting my blue circle, equals a new blue, uh, blue circle. And what this is, is you're probably wondering what a uh, data type, because that's what this is. This is the data type of a variable, where the data type blue circle came from. Now, what we actually did was if you right click on this or command click on a Mac you can go to you go to linkage and I named it and then you click export for action script and then you name it whatever you want and that will take the place of this so if you named it red circle red circle would go here and anywhere else you see blue circle the next is we create a variable random value which is a number and we set it equal to the math.random function. So basically, create a nice random number that we can use for our positioning, our alpha, all of that. So uh, very nice to have. And then we go ahead and we get our new circle here that we create, uh, create in a variable up here. Um, X and Y, multiply them times random values, and then multiply or uh, get a random random value and multiply that times the stage width and the stage height is what the 300 and 200 are so if you have a bigger stage than obviously my small one here that is what would go there then new circle dot scale x this is uh, setting how large it becomes you know uh, scaling like if you were to scale a uh, soda can down to like say an inch by an inch um, when you scale it back to size, that would be the 100%, 10%, you know, so on and so forth. So this sets um, how big the actual circle is going to be with the scale X and scale Y, basically width and height. And we're setting that to random value, which is our random number variable that we created up here. And then we're taking 1 minus our random value. And this is because 1 is completely um, visible. It's not transparent at all. So... Um, let me go ahead and comment out this. This is just to kind of show you how an easy one works. 
so I'll get into that in a second. And we'll trace the random value here. I'll run it so that we actually get some trace statements. So as you can see, we're getting 0.7 blah blah blah, and we could round this off pretty easily, but uh, there's really no need to. So what we're going to do is if you go up to the alpha, which is setting the transparency, you have one, which is completely visible, not transparent at all, and then we're subtracting this value down here, it gives us different levels of opacity. So that is where you get this, um, how this one's really light, this one's a little bit darker, darker, you know, so on and so forth, and the different transparency levels. Then the most important part, well, kinda, is this dot add child, and then in parentheses, new circle. This adds it to the display list, which actually adds it to the, ch uh, the stage. Without this line of code, without the add child method, it would not appear on the stage at all. Then, since this is our main function, then, yeah, we made the function, but we have to actually call it, make it actually tell the tell Flash to run it. So that's what this does. Main and in open end parentheses, semicolon, and you're good there. And then this right here is a simple random number generator um, that you can do with pretty much um, anything. You create a number equal to zero, and then you trace my number plus the math.random times 500, any number that you want, and it will show you a little uh, easy way for you to uh, check out random numbers. Math is its own built-in class in ActionScript. So, uh, hope that helps you guys, and you can do a lot of cool uh, particle systems with this, based off of this, and, and uh, it's kind of just cool if nothing else. Um, one thing that you might think that this is useful for is if you were to do this with pic uh, uh, pictures. Say you had tons of pictures, you could actually select the pictures, uh, pictures at random, place them randomly throughout the entire um, the entire application. So this entire screen here, there'd be different um, opacities so that you could see through the different uh, some of the different pictures, not see through others, and just create this collage, almost like you just shuffled a bunch of pictures up and threw them down on the ground, um, all face up, and it'd be kind of like a little organized mess. Anyway, uh, that's all. Email me if you have any questions.